Uh, what we're going to do, we've been talking uh, quite a bit here about ego. What is ego? And one of the places that we can actually um, help to encounter whatever we're holding in an embodied way is in what's called the solar plexus, the third chakra, is really kind of that location for egoic energy. Um, so what's helpful to just to begin with is to do a practice where we are doing some diaphragmatic breathing and very gently loosening this muscle uh, at the solar plexus, the diaphragmatic muscle. So we'll do some of that as well. Okay, well, welcome back to meditation, to your practice. And uh, let's just begin by letting the mind dissolve down into the body like pouring salt into water. We've been doing a lot of talking and sharing tonight. Now, Let's do some embodying and some breathing and some presencing right where you are, just as you are. Breathing in, opening, breathing out, release. Encountering the heart of your breath simply by opening, lifting the chest and around the back, letting the breath be round and free and full. Breathing out a release, we remain with that sensation of fullness and openness of space. Feeling the solidity of this body. Letting the breath awaken the senses of this body. As if the whole body is listening and aware. Breathing out, we release into that listening, into that awareness. And on the next in-breath, as you are comfortable, just to feel that open, breath in the chest, just take a moment and hold that breath and gently pressing with the breath down onto that muscle in the diaphragm, right around where the breastbone comes together. See what you feel here. If there's anything that feels tight or heavy and then release, breathing out. So we're engaging the muscle here at the solar plexus, but with gentleness, with kindness, breathing back in. Full inhale into the chest and then gently letting that breath gently settle and lightly pressing down a bit more onto that diaphragmatic muscle. 
hold and then release, breathing out. And if you feel anything quivering here, this is really natural because we hold so much here in this bandha, in this lock, this place that either allows or restricts our vitality. So breathing in again, gently opening and gently easing that breath down into that muscle, absorbing it like pouring water into a sponge. Hold. And breathing back out, we release. Any discomfort that you find here is perfectly normal. But just by doing this practice of breathing down, you're actually releasing. You're not creating suffering, you're releasing it. And if you like, you can also put your attention on the back, directly in back of this solar plexus and the spine to anchor this breath with equanimity and stability. And also breathing down now past the solar plexus. Just let the breath descend further down towards the belly, down into the lower back, opening, softening, breathing out, releasing. Here we can also check in with the underlying motivation for our practice, for our being on a path, whatever that path looks like. I think we've often, if not always, will find that motivation in the heart. the deepest motivation of love, of connection, of goodness. And the wish to share freedom, So this too can be a foundation for the ego, a transformed ego that is in service of love, not instead of it. Along with this comes just a devotion to truth, to transparency, to the confidence that comes with an authentic sense of being a loving person, 
even if there are times where we are less than loving or lovable, that's okay too. This is our deepest motivation after all. And as we relinquish the need to be loving or to control this whole process or even to meditate, just feeling the fragrance of your own love to be free flowing, like the flower that opens in the morning sun revealing its fragrance to all. So let's just abide here quietly just for another couple of minutes and recognition, honoring this jeweled net that we share together. The beauty of this one heart.